Uh, I think you should all subscribe to this channel because it's probably one of the best channels I have ever been channeled on. <laughs> that, that doesn't make any sense. I have got an amazing idea. I've got an amazing idea. So I thought we'd come up with something pretty funkadelic for you guys today. And I'm gonna be taking you back to the future. Let's get some lights on. That's better. So check these little badges out. Now look at these. <laughs> now they look pretty shagadelic, if I must say so myself. Now I've got quite a few of these little things, and I want to make something kind of really weird and funky for you guys out of them. Now, the question is, what? <laughs> now I know these look pretty cool, and I've never seen these before. They're called something really weird like um let me just check pen gizakaminimi let's try that again pen gizakaminimi or whatever they're little prism things and they kind of shed off a little bit of different light from different angles and i think it's going to look pretty cool so i thought i'd make something futuristic maybe along the lines of back to the future capacitor and considering i do have a special guest who loves back to the future just as much as me well we've got to make something kind of futuristic right okay let's get to it cheers jacko now let that badger. Looks like you get free little strange panda keyring with these things. So I'm now going to be using Entropy, hmm? Entropy, Entropy resins. Why? Well, it's a new generation in epoxies and it's much better for the environment. It uses super sap technology. It's bio based. and It's just the right thing to do. Plus, it's pretty awesome. Right, so first what we're going to do is we're going to put in just one little layer of resin. Put that in the pressure pot and leave that overnight. So it's going to be a little bit of a time consuming project, but I reckon it's going to be worth it. Right, so now we've got a first layer in here of resin. Uh, you can't really see it, but it's in there. <laughs> I'm gonna lay these in here now, one by one. And uh, then we're gonna put a little dabble of resin in there just to seal them in. Um, and then we'll put another layer to cover it up and then again and again and again till we get up here. And I reckon that is gonna look pretty neat. So 
So they're nicely secured down there. They're actually, it's, there's, the resin's still a little bit sticky, so they're stuck in there quite nicely, if you can see those. So the next layer, once I get these glued in, or resined in, uh, we'll put up the other way round. So hopefully it's gonna create something cool, and then we'll add some kind of a light to it, I reckon, maybe. Time travel possible. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh, this is gonna look pretty funky. I'm calling this the Tesseract Flux or something like that. Wonder what this looks like in the dark.
This is so awesome. Now, I've obviously built this little base for this, but if you want to give it a little bit more power and go even further back to the future, well, I've got another light. Check this out. I'm gonna take you back, back to the future with my Tesseract flux capacitor thing. Happy days! That does look pretty cool, I must admit. Definitely a trumpet blow. <laughs> now I know what you're thinking. This base is better than the one I made. All right, I agree. It's because it's got loads more lights in it. Now, you can fix that. So I could put a few more lights in my base. So. I made this one, uh, which has got my little emblem in it, four lights in there. Now what we could do is I could drill out a few more holes and put a few more lights in it because the more lights this baby gets, well, the more fluxing it will do. A flux capacitor. <laughs> it does look pretty crazy. So there we go, folks. It still looks pretty cool without any light in it at all. Look at that. No lights still fluxing. I think that's pretty cool. Um, I made a few errors. There's a few bits in there that managed to wind their way in there. Don't know how, but you know. Um, but next time I think I've got a better idea as to use these kind of little prisms, I think would be really quite cool. But I know some of you have been calling out for me to make uh, a flux capacitor type of thing. And also I've had a few messages about making some kind of a tesseract. So it's kind of in between. It's a tesseract, it's a white tesseract, which is completely different than the blue one, obviously. And it doesn't look anything like a flux capacitor, but it's my version of one. But it looks pretty cool, I love these things. Just every angle just shines and makes a different, look at that. I mean, whoa. I mean, it kind of just freaks you out, right? And then you put the light in it, and then it just goes even more crazy. Whoa. Not sure if you'll get that inside a cat's mouth. Maybe you would. So I've got this base, which is the one I made for it originally, which kind of sits sort of like that. It's just like a display. That still looks pretty cool. Whoa. Hang on, hang on. There we go. That still looks pretty cool. You know, you could put that in. That still shines up pretty nicely and it gives it that little angle, which is quite cool. I've got my, oh, there's a rubber thing that fell off. Got my little emblem in there, which is number 18. Let's see what our friend from McFly thinks. Dougie. Doug, my old buddy. Hi. What do you reckon of this piece that I just made? Um, you know, I really, really like it, but um, it's actually triggering me a little bit. So oh. I'm afraid I'm, I'm gonna have to leave. Oh. Leave? I'm very sorry. Yeah. You mean make like a tree make... <laughs> and get out of here? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dougie, thanks very much for coming in and looking at this welcome. piece to me. Dougie McFly. Well, thanks to Dougie from McFly to pop him by and have a look at my little Tesseract flux capacitor thing. If you don't know who McFly are, the band, check them out. I'll leave a link below. Well, thanks to all my new subscribers that have come over to the channel. Welcome to this weird and funky shop channel. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. We try and make some funky things. Sometimes they turn out, sometimes they don't. But either way, we'll show them anyway. That rhymed. Please don't forget to check out all my links below, including where I get my music from. You can check out the new resin that I'm using. Link is below from Entropy. I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> It's pretty cool stuff. And it's certainly much better for the environment, which is pretty cool, don't you think? Loads of other links down below. My Instagram, my personal Instagram, if you wanna follow me doing other weird things. I'm actually gonna be putting up a few car things soon on my other channel. So if you're into your cars, you could always come over there and subscribe to me there. Got a few little old cars that I kinda like tinker around with. Couple that I've just recently picked up and a few friends are gonna be bringing some over. So I thought I might vlog a few of those for you on that channel. 
if you're interested. Link is below. Thanks for joining me. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Don't forget Makers Central, May 2nd and 3rd this year. That is May the 20th, no? May the 2nd and 3rd, 2020. Be there. <laughs> Tickets on sale now. I may even bring my Tesseract Flux thing. Hope you all have a fab weekend. Take care, and I'll see you back in 1885. Dougie, Dougie, before you shoot off. Yeah. I bet you're uh, kind of looking forward to the year 3000, right? You know, where they uh, live underwater. Um, didn't realize a wrong band, dude. Wrong band? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna. Yeah.